Sometimes, stairs are placed in the middle of floors, and therefore, openings must be provided for access. Before cutting an opening, we must determine how much of the floor we need to remove. To do this, let us select the stair and take a look at its properties. The riser height tells us that for every riser line, there is a change in height of about 7.5 inches. Doing a quick calculation, we can determine that we need about 13 stairs to have a clearance of about 7.5 feet. Let's now select the floor and open the Edit Boundary tool. We will now sketch a new set of boundary lines within the current sketch to represent our opening. Open the Pick Line tool and select the edges of the stairs. For the final boundary line, count out 13 risers in order to get the desired clearance. Finally, connect all of the boundary lines using the Trim tool. With the opening fully complete, finish the sketch and our opening will appear. Now, let us switch to our 3D view to see the opening that we have just created. Openings can be modified in much the same way as they were created. Open the second floor plan and select the floor. Once again, open the Edit Boundary tool. We can now add or delete boundary lines to achieve the shape of our desired opening. For this example, let's create a round opening using our sketch tools. Once the desired opening has been created, we can finish the sketch and the new hole will appear. Returning to our 3D view, we can see the opening that we have just created. In the presence of openings and ledges, it is often necessary to place railings. In the second floor plan, open the railing tool. Using the Pick Line tool, we can choose existing lines that we would like railings to be placed on. After finishing the sketch, our railing will appear. Notice that the railings are directional, as the handrails can be placed on either side of the railing. To change the location of the handrail, select the railing and click on the small blue arrows. This will place the handrails. This will place the handrails on the opposite side of the railing. Returning to the 3D view, we can see that our handrails are now on the proper side. Railings can be added anywhere within the model. Returning to the second floor plan, we can add railings to the edge of our balcony. This can be done by picking existing lines, or we can draw new lines. After the railings are placed in the desired locations, finish the sketch and the railings will be created. Once placed, railings can also be modified. To change a railing, let's select it and then choose an alternate type. We are also able to edit the type properties of railings. Select the railing and edit its type properties. This will allow us to duplicate rail types to create new ones. We are also given the option to change the rail structure. In this menu, we can edit each rail separately from its materials to its type. Selecting OK will apply these changes.